Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna be talking about my hair and how I take care of it and what I use with it and stuff like that. I don't really know. I just... Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my hair and how I take care of it and keep it healthy and things like that. If you watched my videos a long time ago, you would know that my hair used to be a lot longer than this. I cut about five inches off of it about a month ago, I want to say. Basically because I just have wanted to get my hair really healthy and I just wanted a fresh start because bleach uh, ruins your hair. So my hair was never growing or anything like that and it just looked dead at the bottom. So I cut it off. Not that you guys care, but yeah, so since I've cut it, I've been trying really, really, really hard to keep it healthy and things like that. So I was just going to show you some of the products I use. And yeah, so uh, let's just start showing the products. Yeah. So for shampoo and conditioner, I have been using the Purador Premium Organic Solutions Enriching Shampoo and Healing Conditioner. So that's this. And I wash my hair every two to three days which might be gross to some of you, but I feel like girls like never wash their hair. I don't know. So it is what it is. And yeah, these are what I use in the shower. And then also going off that brand, when I get out of the shower and I go to either blow dry my hair or let my hair air dry, which is I'd normally let it air dry, but I use the Pure Door Argan Oil Body Hair and Face Treatment. And I just put a little bit of this onto my hand and then put it at the bottom of my hair, not so much at the roots because I have naturally oily hair. So if you put this at the roots, it's, for me at least, it's just gonna become a hot mess. But that's what I use for oil when I'm trying to make my hair less frizzy or look more smooth and shiny. And also for deep conditioner or treatments, I'm actually out of what I use. I'll either use just coconut oil from the store. I'm sure a lot of you guys have that. I just let it go overnight, so if I'm going to shower in the morning, I'll just let, I'll put it in my hair, put it like up in a bun and sleep with it, and then rinse it in the morning. Or if I need to shower at night or something, I'll use like the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. It's like $4 at the grocery store, so that's a really good alternative, and I've heard so many amazing things about it, and I really like that as well, and I'll do that like once a week, so. That is that, and that's pretty much all the hair products I use. I'm really bad at hair and anything involving hair. But I feel like that's pretty simple. And then, I guess, this isn't necessarily a hair product at all, but I know a lot of people use it. I used to use dry shampoo, but I would go through that like crazy. So I found a cheaper alternative that works for blonde hairs. I actually like my hair better when I have this in it. But it's just baby powder. This is my holy grail. I'm not even kidding you. Like, I get more compliments when there's baby powder in my hair, and I've done my hair after this, like with this in it versus just like getting out of the shower and doing it. I don't know. I know it wouldn't work for like brown hair and stuff because baby powder is going to show up, but because I'm a blonde, this honestly just makes me look blonder and it helps because my hair, like I said, is really oily. It helps with that. It does the same as a dry shampoo would, just it takes me like a year to go through this versus like two weeks. So I really like baby powder and that is probably the main hair product. That I use. It's not even a hair product, but you know what I'm saying. So then, the brush I use is kind of special. It's a tangle teaser, which is kind of weird because it doesn't have a handle or anything. But I've heard that this is really good for your hair. It, like, helps not... I don't know why I just brushed my hair, but it helps not damage your hair, I guess, as much. And helps, like, get the knots out without completely, like, ripping out your hair. So, I really like this. It was kind of weird to get used to because it's definitely like different than something with the handle but I enjoyed it and I got this at Sephora but I know you can get them online and I've seen them at like TJ Maxx and stuff as well so that's that and then I can talk about this this is biotin I think this is a lot of girls best friends the only thing that stinks about this is that it breaks me out so bad I don't know if that's everyone or if it's just me but if I'm trying to get my hair to grow or things like that or just look healthier I'll take biotin I can usually take it for like two weeks and then I just have to tap out because my skin just gets so bad which is not fun because it does really help your hair grow and become like stronger 
So I would highly recommend biotin, at least trying it out and then you can see it. I feel like I'm the only person, no, one of my best friends breaks out from it as well. So just, but no one else I've heard breaks out from it. So you can try it if you want. I would recommend it because it helps make your hair healthy and it makes it grow. And I feel like most people want their hair to grow. So I really like this. And I got this at like Walmart for like three or four dollars. It's really, really cheap. And it comes with 150 of them. So try it out. And then the last things are what I use to style my hair. Nine out of ten times, because my social life is lame and I work at a place where you can literally roll out of bed and go, which is really convenient, but I never end up really doing my hair just because I'm trying to get it to grow and be healthy and obviously heat's not good for it. But when I do decide to put heat on it, the main thing I'll use is a curling wand. This one I got at Ulta and it's the bedhead one and I believe it's one inch and I've heard that this is better for your hair than an actual curling iron just because there's not clamping and putting like heat on every single part of it. But you just grab it, twist it, hold it, let it go, and then it'll curl. And yeah, I'll do this to my hair pretty much every time I like want to put heat on it. I know it's really like ironic because my hair is straight right now. And I think it was straight in my last video as well, but I swear I curl my hair all the time. And this thing is my best friend and for me, I know some people it takes a lot longer to curl their hair than it does to straighten it, but my hair curls really easily. So I just use this and it takes me like five to 10 minutes, which is really cool. And then I just use for straightening and stuff and stuff. The only thing you can, I shouldn't say the only thing you can do, but the only thing I do with my straightener is straighten my hair. And I just have a black chi. I heard that the patterned ones don't get as hot as these ones, so that's why I chose to just get a black one. That could be a complete rumor, but yeah, that's that's my straightener. It's just a plain black one. It's really boring, but it is what it is. So yeah, that is basically how I keep my hair healthy and what I do to it on a daily basis and the products I use and all of that fun stuff so yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment or subscribe or do whatever you want i don't know i'm so awkward all right well i'll see you guys next week thanks so much for watching bye